My dad was a tool maker. He was devoted to his trade. This is probably the one phrase we'll all remember years after the 2024 British election. Keir Starmer's dad was a toolmaker. It came up during debates. Uh, my dad worked in a factory. Uh, he was a toolmaker. My mum was a nurse. During interviews. And your dad, I think it's right to say, was a toolmaker. He was a toolmaker, yeah. Labour seems to have made a clear decision, showcase Starmer's working class background to return the party to its roots. But when did it lose touch with those roots in the first place? Well, you know, if you look at what's happened with the work, labour and the working class, it's like you've got this kid that you love and you take care, and then you get a new one that's born, and then you go and ignore the kid that's already there, and you go and look after the new kid. The relationship between class and voting used to be clear-cut in the UK. Labour for the working class, the Conservatives for the middle class. But that relationship is no more. And understanding why could swing the outcome of the next election. I think class is a really significant issue in this country and I won't stop talking about it. Welcome to Know Your Place. What happened to class in British politics? A new series from The Conversation, supported by the National Centre for Social Research. I'm Laura Hood, Senior Politics Editor at The Conversation in the UK. And over five episodes, I'll be investigating what are we even talking about when we're talking about class in the 21st century? We have this strange situation in which if you ask people about their own class position, a lot more people will think of themselves as working class than is objectively the case. When did we start seeing the cracks? Theresa May certainly weakened the cement in the red wall and maybe kicked one or two bricks out. It didn't all just suddenly collapse. Here is the party that was invented to represent the working class being outbid by the Conservatives amongst the working class. We used to know our place, but where do we belong now? If you look back at the, you know, the history of the decline of class voting, it does have quite a lot to do with how Labour governments look and sound. Can the relationship ever be repaired and should we even want it to be? Voters have a lot fewer tribal loyalties and they're switching in ways that I don't think they've ever really switched before in the era of universal suffrage. Reformed voting base is more working class, but the working class aren't more reformed. Listen to Know Your Place, What Happened to Class in British Politics, on The Conversation Documentaries this October. Available wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs>